This is Bill. I'm here at Highland Hill Farm. I'm going to show you how you connect your drip line to your blue stripe pipe. First of all, I like to put the drip line in the blue stripe pipe on the blue stripe of the pipe. The reason for that is if it's on the blue stripe, then it can be uniform along the, the line to be at exactly the same spot all along the pipe. Now you can put one on the opposite side of the blue stripe pipe or on the actual part of the blue stripe pipe. The way you put your hole in the blue stripe pipe is you take the pointed end of your sprayer and you take that and you just push that into the blue stripe pipe. Bingo! Like that. Goes in very easily. It makes the hole. Then this nipple is inserted into the hole. It just pushes in. And then I always like to check it because sometimes you can put it in and it isn't in correctly. But it should be a nice tight fit. Okay? Now, when you want to connect your blue stripe pipe to a garden hose, what I like to do is I like to trim off the pipe so it has a nice flush perpendicular cut. And this is your connector to the, to the garden hose. It has a little nickel with a hole in it and we use that we're needed to reduce the pressure. What I do is I pull this valve stem back all the way, push the compression fitting on as far as I can, and then turn the knob. And that tightens it up. Now that son of a gun is on there. That can take quite a bit of pressure before it will come off. On the other side, to close the line, I take the figure eight put it over top of the pipe, bend the pipe over, and push the figure eight back. Now you have the garden hose attachment to your blue stripe pipe, your nipple ready to go, and your end. Now if you want to put a T in the line, or a Y or whatever, just cut your line, and insert the T, both ends. Try and keep your blue stripe lines together. And push in. And that usually doesn't come off unless you have a lot, a lot of pressure in the line. You shouldn't need to have a uh, wire clamp or anything. It usually doesn't require it. Now, a couple tips. When you go to insert this into the plant, try and get it in about halfway. And do not insert it by the, the tubing this way into the plant. The reason for that is you can push this line on too hard. There's a little tiny slice in it. And if you push this on all the way, you will actually block the flow of the water. So it should just be on about three quarters of the way down. There is a little tiny nipple on the side. You can see it. And that's the spacer that you should go to. No further than that. So when you insert this into the plant, Hold it by the spike itself, not by the tubing to push it in. It's a lot easier by the tubing because you have a little lip there to put your fingers on, but it can damage the, the unit and make it so it doesn't deliver water to your plant. Just a little tip. Now, if you don't want to use a particular line, say a tree dies or a shrub dies or it's over water, you can take this off, turn it around, and push that back on. There will be no water flow from this end. This is the end that normally goes into the ground. But if you want to turn it off, you just reverse it. And again, don't push the spike in by the rubber tubing. Push it in by the spike. Thank you. Bye. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. 
We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, Peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.